What's up guys, Tiny Dog here and welcome to a new episode of Minecraft Fun. In this episode we are going to make um, a reactor housing unit which is pretty much what's going to hold our nuclear reactor and we'll be able to have the reactor water cooled with a flick of the switch and um, so let me just turn around here and show you what it looks like okay so it's a really simple design right here we have six chambers with the nuclear reactor in the middle that you can't see but there's our six chambers okay and on the outside here is our wiring and um, our MFSU which will hold 10 million energy once we start getting the uranium uh, pumping out energy so this design is made by a man or uh, by a gentleman named Nargan or Nargan sorry if I pronounced his name wrong uh, he's on the industrial craft forums and he has a bunch of great designs um, for reactors you know certain mark types of uh, reactors he has a breeder uh, design the perfect breeder which will help us make um, uh, uranium cells have that somewhere here make uh, these depleted isotope cells into a uranium cell he has really awesome design which I'll probably be, uh, will be using but right now we're just gonna make the unit that houses the nuclear chamber um, this is water cooled design so what you gotta do is flip the switch here now you can make you know your switch go down to the reactor here but me I'm not really um, good with the redstone but we'll just take a look here I just flicked that switch and look there's the water and it's going all around our chambers to get them nice and cooled which will help us with not producing too much heat and when we're done with that what we can do is just flick the switch and the water disappears okay so let's get right I made two because these are going to be my breeder chambers and then this will be where I recharge my coolant cells but let's go outside and I will show you how to make this all right so we're outside now um, I guess I'll make it right here in front of the house it's nice and bright over here um, so materials uh, you can build this with anything with cobblestone with regular stone anything that's not flammable um, so I, I just made reinforced stone because it looks cool and it helps us with in case of some explosion or something I don't know but I'm gonna use reinforced stone um, you're gonna need some glass if you want to be able to see the water cooling it you're gonna need a sticky piston which will help us with the water switch um, of course a bucket of water a lever um, you're gonna need a nuclear reactor and six reactor chambers so it's a lot of materials but right now with your quarry you should be able to get the good stuff alright so the chamber is really easy to make it's five by five and it's seven high okay so we'll start off uh, right here I guess one two three four five and then two three All right, and I'm gonna fill that up. Okay, and we want to leave this one empty here, because this is what will allow us to um, possibly make an underground chamber. Uh, I mean, underground wiring. Okay, so you could put a wire here. I don't have any wires, because I'll do that for another episode. But um. But yeah, so you know, you would leave that uh, bottom. Let's say there was dirt there. You'll leave this one empty, so you can do some under underground wiring. So let's work on our second layer. That's the first layer. There's your base. The second layer is pretty much straightforward. What we got to do here, we go around like this. This is Nargon's design uh, once again. So all credit goes to the dude. And you know what? I'll even post um, a link to his forum thread where he has all the different designs. Um, so right now in the second layer, we want 
a chamber to be on the second layer, but since we don't have our reactor yet, we're gonna have to wait till our third layer. So our third layer will go like this. We keep this space here empty so we can put a wire which will connect to one of our chambers. Okay. All right, so there's some space there and now what we want to do is put our nuclear reactor all right so we put our nuclear reactor there and then we stick a chamber right underneath it okay and then we'll just blow up these bricks here okay so there is our reactor it's got one chamber what we do with the remaining chambers so we connect them like that and there's five chambers and then we put our six on top and the six starts our um, fourth layer so we'll put it like this cover that hole up Okay, there's our fourth layer. And the fifth layer is it's very straightforward. Like, I, like the whole design is a very simple design. Um, Nargan or Nargon or whatever the name is. Um, this guy really has his nuclear reactors um, on check. He really knows what he's doing. So check out his thread forum thread because it, it's got tons of info all right so we put um some blocks here but we don't want to cover that because the water is going to be able to drain down here and go into those cracks on the side cool our awesome reactor up so that's the fifth layer and the sixth layer is even easier to do okay Oops, didn't want to do that. There we go. Okay. All right, so see you got some open spaces down there, and we'll be able to all right, so that is our sixth layer, and I guess we could put before we even Okay, so we put our sticky piston right there, and we'll put our block right in front of there, okay? And now that I've trapped myself, I untrap myself. Okay, so here is the sticky piston. Now, when we have it activated, which we could do, sticking a block there. Okay, and we put a switch, a lever, put a lever right there, it's going to push that block, okay, and that'll stop the water from draining, and then we push it back and the water can go through, so we'll do our final layer, the seventh layer, and it's, it's the easiest, Okay. 
Now, where's that switch? It's over here. Okay, so we got the switch up. Now we, you know, it's closed. Take our bucket of water, put it there. And then when we flick the switch, the water will start draining into there and cooling our reactor. But we can't really see that because we're going to put some. All right, so let's say this is the front of the reactor. All right. Take our glass. You can use regular glass, of course. I'm just going to use reinforced glass because it's different. And I'll leave that chamber open so maybe I can run a wire there. And there you have it. There is our nuclear chamber. Um, if I knew if I was good with redstone, I would have it so that... There we go. I flicked the switch. There's the water. Water's dripping down. Everything's getting cooled. Alright, and we're still able to run wire on the sides. So... But you get the idea. So there's our chamber. Awesome, isn't it? And it's got access on all four sides. So, um, yeah, so you can put as many as these, these that you, as you need. Um, I'll have a few, several actually. Um, if I had a ladder, it would be easier to get the water. But yeah, so that's that uh, this episode and next episode I will 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 make um, a breeder um, and then we'll start making some of those MFSUs which uh, takes a crap ton of diamonds to make so, but it's, it's a good thing we have an industrial diamond farm which I'll be activating after this episode so this is going to store a lot of energy. We're going to be able to run those mass fabricators. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to knock this whole wall down. It's not that much space here. But yeah, so remember any questions, any comments, um, let me know. And I will catch you guys next episode.